Titanic's not gonna sink, right? I don't think it will, but the... Oh! The Titanic's gonna sink! Oh, no! Today's the day! Today's the day! Today's the day! We're going on the Titanic today. Today's the day! Okay, guys, listen up, okay? Today is the big day. Today is the day we get to go on the Titanic. I don't want any funny business. Just for once, for once, don't act weird, okay? That's just for you, Logan, especially you, Phil. Aye, aye, Captain, nothing weird. That was weird. No, that was pretty cool, actually. I kind of want to do that. All right, after I try this chair trick thing, everyone meet me over here. We got to get our tickets booked in. Make sure you have everything, okay? This thing is going for two weeks. We're going to pass icebergs. We're going up into the north. You need a fur coat. You need nice summer stuff. We need fancy stuff. I think there's even a dance hall, okay? This is going to be so amazing. This is going to be so great. Jake, doesn't the Titanic always sink? What? Okay, why would you even say something like that? This is not what you talk about before getting on the Titanic. Yes, okay, in the past there have been some Titanics that may have gone down under, but this one is brand new, made out of the finest cardboard. Okay, they have assured me it is 68% non-sinkable. Hello, is this where we uh, give our tickets for the Titanic? Ah, first customers here. <laughs> Don't mind me, it's just where I've been living. It's a bit of a fixer upper. How's it going, everyone? I'm Bill Bobson, and I'm the head coordinator of the Titanic, and it looks like you three are early. Well, here she is, the Titanic itself. Um, I don't see anything. That's right, you don't, because it's not here yet. You see the Titanic, the majesty about it, the mystery, the magic, the pajazzle. That is all about getting built itself. You got tickets, don't you? Yeah, we got our tickets for the Titanic. No, those aren't tickets for the Titanic. They're tickets to build the Titanic. We'll give you all the tape rolls and cardboard you need. You can build it. One of you will have to be the captain. One of you will get to ride in the first class cabins. And of course, we'll need someone to be the help. According to my watch here, I'm running out of time. So I've got to skedaddle along, but you boys have all the resources you need. Now remember, once you get to the frozen part of the ocean, there's big icebergs. You don't want to mess with those icebergs. All right, see you boys. Well, that sucks. I thought we were going on the Titanic. All right, guys, how'd it go? Did you talk to me? Give me the tickets. Dude, there's no Titanic. He said we have to build it. Yeah, hey, you know that? Dude, it's Boxford City. You have to build everything in Boxford City. I made a sandwich the other day, I had to build it. Like bread, chicken, cheese, more chicken. Jake, you said today's the day. Today's the day we get to go on the Titanic. You, you know how long it's gonna take to build the Titanic? Today's the day we get to build the Titanic. But the best part about it is we get to make it whatever we want. We can make it as big as we want, as cool as we want. Importantly, we can make it anti-sinkable. It's a new thing I'm, I'm trademarking. This year, the Titanic ain't sinking. She's floating. Can we bring donuts? You doesn't fit with the time period. I'll have to check on that one if they have donuts in the 1800s. Okay, we have as many resources as we're allowed. Plus, we've got a ton of real Titanic relics. I mean, the stuff that was on the original, the OG Titanic. So what we need to do is we need to grab everything and start building it because we need to set sail. We have a lot of room here, boys. Well, come on. And guys, if you think this Titanic build is going to be epic, then smack that like button. And of course, as always, if you guys want a squad shout out, at the end of this video, we're featuring one lucky viewer. All you have to do to enter in to win is hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, smack that bell button, and of course, leave a hashtag squad in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, if you want to grab some squad merch, link as always in the description, and you can browse some of the awesome merch below the video. Hey, Jake, are you going to help us build the Titanic? Uh, no, I got, I got to keep everyone company while you guys build. 
Oh, and guys, before I forget, this is all proof of concept. We are building this thing absolutely massive with two stories and filling it completely with everything that the Titanic would actually have. Now that does kind of mean we have to go a little bit softer on the electronics because back in the good old days, they didn't have a lot of that stuff. So no Xbox today, but that's okay because this entire build is a proof of concept that we can make something this big. And if it works and doesn't sink, we are gonna be taking this to an actual lake up north and surviving for two weeks in a massive houseboat. Do you know how many tape rolls this build is gonna take? Look how long it is! This is gonna break the bank. That's okay, we got their tickets. We got unlimited tape rolls. Like I said, anything we need. Unlimited tape rolls? Yeah, that's right, Logan. Are you serious? I'm serious! Whoa. Oh yeah, Whoa. go get it! Yeah. Oh yeah! For this build, it's pretty simple, but I think we all know who the captain's gonna be. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, Jake. Mm, good. I really think Logan should take over this time. No, that's not what I was gonna say. Every time you are the captain, the ship goes down. I've seen the old Titanic videos, Jake, and they never end pretty. That is just because the Titanic has a curse on it and it happens to go down, okay? I am gonna be the captain and I'm gonna do just fine. Plus, Logan, don't you want first class? You wanna enjoy the beauty of the Titanic? Yeah, I will take the first class suite with the first class amenities and I expect first class treatment. Well, that's good because you're in good hands. Because Phil, you are gonna be the concierge slash everything. Me on the other hand, I'll be captain. So we need a captain's quarters, a first class. We'll definitely need a second story, plus probably a place to drop anchor and uh, I don't know, maybe a dance hall or something. We'll figure it out. I'll check on the donuts, Phil. Okay, good. Okay guys, well uh, I just uh, checked for Phil and it looks like donuts were actually invented in 1847. So when did the Titanic set sail? The Titanic set sail in April 10th, 1992, which means uh, they definitely were rocking donos on there. So we're getting Phil some donuts. Okay guys, so while Phil and Logan are working on the Titanic itself, I thought I would take everyone over to see what we've got in store for the Titanic itself. Now I actually went ahead and sourced all of the original Titanic pieces that you would see in that time period. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Papa Jake, it'd be way cooler if we had a Nintendo Switch or an Xbox One. That is true, but the fact of the matter is we're trying to make the Titanic as real as possible and putting a Nintendo Switch in it, well that doesn't exactly make a lot of sense. But we'll be saving all that cool futuristic stuff for when we go on the lake if we do make it to the two week box fort on a lake challenge. And keep in mind, if we do it on a lake guys, it's going to be three stories tall. So it looks like I'm just coming up on the Titanic location where we packed all our Titanic stuff here. Ah, let me show you guys what we got. All right guys, so this is just some of the crazy items that we have for the Titanic. They're all still in boxes, but I'm gonna go ahead and start unboxing these and show you some of my favorite and some of the coolest items we have. I haven't even looked at some of this stuff yet. All right guys, so one of the first items, you know, not, not the coolest, but it is uh, an actual phone, like the old phones they had. So you, you know, you pick that up, you call and say, that's an ice bug coming our way. We better move cars. Although, you know, by that time it's too late, but hey, we got a phone. All right guys, so check out this next item we have. It is a sailor's telescope. Now if I open this box very carefully, oh, it's got like double locks on it. It's so secure. Okay, we're gonna open it like this. This isn't gonna save us from drowning in the Titanic. You're all about the drowning, bill. Logan. It's not gonna drown. And actually, yes, it will save us because with this telescope that was built in the 1840s, I'll be able to see any iceberg. Jake, what is this? It's a telephone. We don't need a telephone. Hey, dude, make calls. How am I gonna call you at the back of the ship and I'm at the front of the ship? See? Logan doesn't get it. This thing, 20 feet. At least 20 feet I can see with this. Whoa, check that out! Okay. As usual, Jake is more focused on what goes inside the Titanic than he is about the actual ship itself, which is why this year, Phil and I are going to build the boat perfectly, beautiful tape jobs, premium cardboard, and floaties that are not going to sink. This year, the Titanic will float. We got the captain's quarters over here and the living quarters over here. But we are not done. We are going to be putting a second story. This is going to be a two story floating box for it. The biggest Titanic we've ever seen. All right, it's uh, it's officially raining, raining kind of hard, but we're still out here building, Phil and I. I don't know where Jake is. I hope he's doing something important that's gonna keep this thing afloat. Dear Matilda, we embark in the morning. I am but a scared young captain, unsure of my ways upon these waters. The boys 
think I don't have it in me to captain the ship. I believe I shall prove them wrong. I wish to see you one more time. Your picture sits beside me on my desk. I don't know, Logan. I think we're doing pretty good. Yeah, the Titanic's coming along. It's gonna be too... St was that lightning? What was that? That was literally lightning. This Titanic's not gonna sink, right? I don't think it will, but the... St oh! This Titanic's gonna sink! Oh, no! That's a big thunder. It's raining. There's thunder, and now there's lightning. I think I'm gonna stay inside for a little bit. You work on the exterior, I'll go, I gotta get the interior. Jake, there is severe lightning and thunder. Yeah, no, she'll be fine, dude. Just uh, put her out there, let the waves hit her a little bit. She's good. I got all my stuff ready though for my captain's quarters. Just uh, let me know where it is and I'll start working on it. Here comes thunder, I, any well, second. Well, I was thinking because I need to see that maybe I would be on the second story, you know, have a nice little good lookout and then underneath, I can have my sleeping area because I'll need my own sleeping area as the captain. How are we getting in between the different cargo ships? There is gonna be a little door here. Oh wait, Jake, did you decide? On the donuts? Yeah. Yeah, Phil, I did. I was able to do some deep, deep research, historical research. I had to go donuts to the archives. Donuts are not important right no, now. No, 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 they actually are. They were invented in 18 something. And the Titanic, 1912, buddy. Yeah. Let's go! They had donuts on the Titanic. Oh, also Logan, for the uh, menu, we're only gonna eat what they ate on the Titanic, and I've already Googled it. It's a bit weird, there's like some duck and escargot and stuff. Ducks? It's fine. Yeah, I don't know. Ducks? Cool. We'll make it work. Phil's gonna be the chef. Okay guys, so check this thing out. The captain's quarters is coming along very nice. Obviously, it's uh, it's taking up a little more space than I thought, but the captain needs his own space, you know? So up here is actually gonna be where I have my table and my chair, and I can look out and captain the ship. Down here is going to be my luxurious captain cabin, where uh, I can sleep and chill out. Now, this is gonna be walled off, basically, and if you were a passenger of the Titanic, you would simply go through a door here into the next area and continue down the ship that way. But because this is all ready, Logan's working on the back area. I'm going to start making my captain's quarters as cool and luxurious as possible. Okay, guys, so the first class suite is coming along great. I've made it as comfortable as possible while keeping it as old school as possible. Because like Jake said, the Titanic didn't take off till 1912. Or at least I think so. But anyways, we've got our clock. This is where I'm gonna be cooking all of Logan's meals. He said he was getting sick and tired of just cereal and toast. So we've decided to step it up a notch. For our main course, we're gonna be having Caesar salad. And I grabbed a couple steaks too. Hopefully I don't burn down the Titanic. Under here is where I'm gonna be sleeping. I've got my Mr. Pooh pillow, the anchor to the boat, and this phone. Not really sure how it works, but Jake says it's gonna ring when it's time to put the anchor down. This is gonna be Logan's first class board. He's got a bed. Lots of nice natural light. No gaming setup though. Those didn't exist back then. Not much fun stuff to do. I guess they didn't really have any of that back then. Oh, that must be Jake now. Hello? All right guys, so you just got to check out the first class quarters of the Titanic, but obviously this boat is absolutely massive. So now I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna be chilling once we set sail inside the captain's quarters, where I'm gonna be controlling the boat and doing all of the responsibilities that a Titanic captain would have to do. Now I know what you guys are thinking. You're still thinking, Jake, this thing's gonna sink. It's gonna sink, it always sinks. But guys, I don't know if it's gonna sink this year. I think this year might be the year it floats. And don't forget, we're trying to do a two week challenge on an actual lake with a boat twice this size so if you were excited for that smack the like button and put a hashtag lake week down below but guys check it out you enter into the captain's quarters through here and you are greeted with a fairly small area I, I i get it you know it's it's not that large but if you look underneath this is the captain's sleeping area now i don't have my bed in here right now in terms of my blankets because it's extremely hot but you know as the captain i'm not gonna be doing much sleeping there's a lot of business to be doing so up here is actually one of the main forms of communication. Obviously, we have the phone, but sometimes it can be quicker to type it up on the old typewriter here. So for example, if there was uh, an iceberg coming in our direction, I'd just come over here and say, there is an iceberg. And then you just pull it out like that. See guys, the old fashioned technology sometimes better than what we use. Email, nah. This, boom. There is a nice bird. And then I just roll it up like so. Formal captain's letter gets here and I put it through the slot in into the mailbox of the next room where it will be, oh, hey, Phil. 
Nope, no more looking, Phil. And Phil will take it and of course pass that information along. But let's go into the coolest part of the captain's quarters, which is the main deck. And this is where I'm going to be captaining the ship. Up here on the second story, as you guys can see, I have a full window out onto the ocean. I've got my luxurious captain ropes around the window. I've got a nice view of everything out there. I also have a picture of my dearest Matilda, always with me. Matilda, you look great as always. I will be home soon. Now on my captain's desk here, I've got everything that a captain would need. I do have my phone in case I need to make a phone call back and see how the passengers are doing or just check up on all the ship's duties. And uh, these are some of my maps. This is actually my uh, main map here. So I've got a little ledger of all the stuff that we're bringing on the Titanic signed by Papa Jake. And of course we have our map. So we're actually gonna be traveling out here around this island into the Arctic Ocean, making our way through these two bad boys dodging all of the icebergs, not hitting any of those, and uh, to our final destination back home. These are some of my notepads, and of course I just use my classic Titanic style pen and ink if I need to, my feather pen. So, if, oh, oh, I dropped a little bit of, okay. You know, like I said, sometimes the old fashioned stuff is better, but sometimes it has some issues. Sign my name, Papa Jake, okay, a little, little messed up there, but that's okay. And we put our little pen and ink back here. Now you guys already saw this, but over here, I have my handy dandy trusty telescope. This at all times will let me see out the front and make sure I'm monitoring for any dangers or obstacles coming our way. And you can, hey, there you go. You guys can kind of see it. Oh, 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 we see a tree. There's a tree ahead of us. Captain, there's a tree person. Okay, not actually. So that is our telescope. And then over here, so we don't get lost in this little handy dandy box, I have my compass and there we go we have a fully working compass that i can use in correlation with this map to navigate us on the rough waters and make sure we're always going in the right direction now before we leave i'll be packing up my uh bag here back in the old days they had either really big trunks or really small leather bags so everything i'm going to be surviving with is going to be on here but actually in our food ledger i believe phil has caesar salad steak and fresh water so you know what we should be good as far as the weather looks right now it's looking clear it's looking good I think we're ready to set sail and you know this is a big challenge just going in the pool but I'm really looking at it as a challenge to see if we can do this on an actual lake I'm excited for when this hits the real water you know and we're real deep in the middle of the ocean good chance we end up on the news and you guys see that before uh, this video ever comes out so there's uh, there's a small chance of that I also have some extra boxes but they're kind of empty and don't really have much in them because I haven't really packed everything yet uh, but I do have this classic music player with my favorite Titanic tunes. Just serenades me. Music nowadays is so angry. Back then, so simple. But that's about it, guys. That is the captain's quarters and everything that I will need to captain and pilot this ship. So I think it is safe to say we are officially ready to put this Titanic in the water and see if she can float and see if we can survive 24 hours on her without her sinking. Will the curse of the Titanic stay or will we be sunken? It is yet to find out. You guys are gonna have to wait. So if you're not already a member of the squad, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, leave a hashtag squad. Hey guys, of course, before we end the video, I have to give a shout out to today's squad member, Team Riley. Congratulations and thank you so much for being a member of the squad. If you see them, be sure to leave a comment down below their comment. Let them know. Show them the love from the squad. And if you guys want to get a shout out like this, of course, hit the bell button, hit the subscribe button, comment hashtag squad. You already know what to do. But guys, we are about to take part in the Titanic. So buckle your seatbelts, get ready because this thing's going in the water and it may or may not sink.